One moment, I was sailing under the bright sun. The next, I was clinging to debris, the storm swallowing me whole. Now, I'm here, stranded. Ethan looks around. The island is lush but eerily silent. No chirping birds, no rustling animals, just an unsettling stillness. Ethan, whispering, someone's here. I'm not alone. Suddenly, a soft humming drifts through the air. Ethan follows the sound, drawn to its haunting beauty. He stumbles upon a woman dressed in flowing white. Her back turned to him as she sings by a pool of water. Ethan, cautiously, hello, are you, are you stranded here too? The woman stops humming. Slowly, she turns. Her face is breathtaking, but her eyes glimmer unnaturally, like the reflection of moonlight on still water. Woman, smiling, welcome, traveler, you must be weary, come, rest. Ethan sits by her fire as the woman offers him water in an ornate cup. The atmosphere is tense but mesmerizing. Ethan, thank you. This place, it's so quiet. Do you live here alone? Woman, giggling softly. In a way, many have come before you, but none have stayed as long as I'd like. Ethan notices old carvings on the nearby rocks, names edged into the stone. Each one crossed out except for one at the bottom. Freshly carved Ethan. Ethan, nervously, how do you know my name? The woman's smile widens unnaturally, her features flickering like a reflection on rippling water. Ethan tries to back away, but the woman stands, her voice growing deeper, echoing unnaturally. Woman, coldly, you can't leave, no one does, your name joins the others now. The forest darkens, shadows writhe, twisting into the forms of other travelers, their faces hollow and lifeless. They surround Ethan, blocking his escape, Ethan, yelling, stay back. What are you? Woman, calm, menacing, I am what remains of the forsaken. The storm brought you here, as it brought them, and now, you're mine. She lunges, her form shifting into a monstrous, ethereal figure. Ethan grabs a burning branch from the fire, swinging it wildly. Ethan runs through the forest, the shadows chasing him. The woman's voice echoes, a haunting melody calling him back. Woman, echoing, you can't escape. Ethan, this is your home now. He stumbles upon an old boat hidden beneath vines, seemingly untouched for years. Frantically, he pushes it into the water and rows with all his strength. The island fades into the mist. The woman's figure standing at the shore, her scream piercing the air. Closing scene, Ethan wakes up on a fishing boat, surrounded by concerned sailors. Sailor, found you drifting near the Phantom Isle. Lucky you escaped, no one ever does. Ethan, haunted, it wasn't luck. As the boat sails away, the camera pans to Ethan's hand. Carved into his palm is the woman's name, glowing faintly. Fade to black. End.